Hey everybody, it's Zach with Gallsworth Shot Show 2018. Stop by the Red Man Training Booth. Check out what Gary's up to. What do we got here today, Gary? What Redman has here is their impact big. This is the third generation impact big. They continue to improve this so that it protects not only the user, uh, the officer striking it, but also the person that's holding the bag. They've reinforced the stitching here. They maintain that nice curve in the bag so it allows the officer to develop proper force, uh, maintain proper posture. They don't get jammed up because the bag is so big. Uh, they've really curved this out nice. They got nice strong handles in the back so that you can feed your arms through and take a good hold of this bag. Um, with their impact bag, it offers another level of training experience for the user. Uh, you can take this and hand it off to a, a person to hold the bag. Now that gives your student office their ability to, to strike this bag either with, uh, with active countermeasures, your elbows, your knees, your leg kicks. He can move the bag high, he can keep the bag low. We train the user on how to properly hold the bag so that they don't get injured. A lot of people think that just by holding a bag, they can hold it like a Roman shield and be fine. It's not the case. If they have the bag further out, the, the bag's going to get hit, then they're going to get yeah. hit. They're going to get injured. If they keep it nice and tight, they're going to get hit once. They're going to be able to move with the force, and they're going to stay just fine and safe, and there's going to be no injury here. So we really like using this in different various or in different types of training environments. And one of the things that can also be used is you can also use the red man props that come with it. So if you're working on baton training, instead of having the ability of someone using an actual baton where you're teaching stance, delivery, uh, uh, development of force, it takes all small components for the officers to get comfortable with that. And once they get comfortable, then you can graduate to an actual live baton. Up until that point, you don't want to hand them, just like you want to hand them a live fire, and then have them start shooting. Mm -hmm. You want to give them the basics first. Well, that works out really well when you use uh, props like the foam baton along with the foam uh, sh uh, striking shield here, have the people properly trained. It really does take your training to the next level. The proper way to load a baton is to take this baton and basically put it back where your shoulder patch would be. So I'd want to come from here. This gives me the proper rotation to take my hips and step in. Everything comes from the hips. If I just start swinging this like a baseball bat, I will generate force, but not as much force as what I possibly could. If I lead with my hips, it's like a bullwhip effect. Everything starts from here, I can step in it, and I can just let the baton come out and do its job. The officers, the incidents, we see videos and the uh, batons coming high up and things like that. They're not delivering much force. It's kind of not the best way of using it. If you can keep yourself in control, you can actually deliver more force than just swinging wildly. So if you just want to take a step back for a second, I don't want to hit you at yeah. all, is basically have the uh, baton again index across basically where your shoulder pads should be, your hand is up for your protection, the bay is going to be out slightly, and you're just going to step in, and you're just going to strike. And you're able to have the officer step in, deliver that strike, and then come back, reassess the situation, decide do I need to give another strike. It's great, it's a great structure of training to take the officer in those building block uh, steps so that they can, every time they use a level of force, they have the ability to assess, decide, is it time to advance my level of force, maybe get rid of this and go to a firearm, or de-escalate and go to hands-on control. 